The transition to electric cars is probably going to be fairly slow. It's kind of the negative way of looking at it. The <laughs> negative way that might be the realistic way is that hybrid cars were introduced in the U.S. in the year 2000. Yep. After 10 years, we're up to 3% penetration of the new car market. Unless we believe, unless we get government policy that's so aggressive, mm -hmm. and unless we have some catastrophe where we decide we've got to get off oil immediately, right. it's going to take right. a while. Right now, if I plug in anything, let's just say a car to the grid, am I really just moving the emissions from the tailpipe to a stack, or can you give me a feel for sort of that mix of energy today? One lesson is that in certain parts of the country, at certain times, electric vehicles are really attractive from an environmental and a carbon perspective. Right. And so the first lesson is we want to put the cars where that carbon footprint and those environmental impacts are least. Right. And California happens to be one of those places yeah. because we use almost no coal for electricity in California. Right. But the second part of it is that we really need to wean ourselves off of coal. So the way to think about it for electric vehicles is we'll bring the electric vehicles in at the same time that we're decarbonizing mm -hmm. the coal system, the electricity system. Mm -hmm. And we've got to do it. And so you have to have a little faith <laughs> that we're going to do it. Right. And it's going to take a while for electric vehicles. So I sure. think that's a realistic strategy saying, OK, even if you're not getting big benefits from the electric vehicles today, right. it's still worth doing it today to start that process. Will the world follow us? There's two leaders here with electric vehicles. It's United States and it's China. Okay. And I'd have to say right now, China is, looks more likely to be the leader. leader. China has made, the national government has made a commitment, a serious commitment to electric vehicles. Right. They're starting to subsidize it. They're starting to tell the car companies, if you want to do business in this country, right. you've got to start selling electric cars. And they've got an advantage. They've got 120 million little electric cars in the country already. These are electric bikes and electric scooters. Mopeds. <laughs> Mopeds yeah. that run on electricity. Yeah. Right. And so they have that industrial foundation that we don't have in the United States. The big challenge then for them going that direction is to not use coal to charge them. That's right. Otherwise. That's right. China, 80% of China's electricity comes from coal. Yeah. And so they've got to do something about right. that coal.